Hello and welcome to Blocks Power. I'm LJ and today we are going to look at month 19 of my niche site. So this is for July of 2023. So let's jump in. So if we look at the number of articles for this blog, um, it has not changed for quite some time. I do plan to add some articles that that is in the plan it's coming up soon at some point, um, but I'm not in a rush. And that is at 435 total posts. So if we look at the number of page views for month 19, we can see that there are 71,000 users and 119,000 page views. So pretty high month in terms of page views from Google Analytics. And then if we look at Zoic of comparing the months of 18 to 19, you can see there was significant growth. 20% um, growth in page views for visit, for, per visit, 30% growth in page views, just some staggering numbers. Um, and the visits were up 7.75%. Seven, um, so if we look at the overview, we can see in July, there's this huge bump. We had a nice trend, you know, through May, then June took a dip and then went right back up in July. But towards the end of July, you can see it kind of maybe went back down, question mark. Um, so if we look at the traffic source, I get almost 60% from Google, 13 from DuckDuckGo, 9 from Bing. Um, so I know if you haven't been watching these before, that might be pretty, um, pretty surprising because I know a lot of people in this, you know, business pretty much get over 80% of their traffic from Google and I'm a rare case and I haven't quite figured out why. So if we look at Search Console, um, comparing month 19 to month 18 we can see that there was a pretty significant increase in clicks. There is an extra day um, in July compared to June, so it's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, I'm getting about 2,000 clicks, so even with an extra 2,000 clicks, um, that's still an extra 5,000 clicks for the whole month. Um, but what's really interesting is my average position went down. Um, I don't really know how that happened. My guess is the right ones went up and the other ones went down. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, so I have to keep an eye out that long term and see if that average, average position starts to, um, you know, starts to fall. You'd expect that a click through rate would go down with the position going down, but that wasn't the case this month. Um, so if we look at Bing Webmaster, you can see that at the time of taking this, it was done slightly after August. And you can see that through July it was pretty steady, um, but August may have taken a turn. We'll see. Um, but if we look at just the month of month 19, we can see that there were 8,000 clicks. So um, towards the end of July, you can see there was a huge dip in clicks. Um, I haven't really investigated that. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is attesting to because the number of impressions was approximately the same. So they didn't go down together. Um, I'm not sure. So if we look at the backlinks, things have been going in a weird direction with backlinks. So if we look at Uber Suggest, it says I have a domain authority of 16. I think in the earlier months, I was somewhere in the 13 to 14 range. So it's going up, but it's still saying I have about 2,000 backlinks. Then if we look at SEMrush, I'm sitting at a 17, which is still pretty low. Um, and you can see all of it is just from, you know, my natural traffic um, rather than like, you know, my links. It's just a very natural site. But this seems to say 3.4 thousand backlinks. But when we look at other resources such as Google, it only says 152. And I don't know where this comes from. <laughs> I'll be honest, because I know at one point on Google, it was over a thousand. So it went down, um, you know, by 90%. Um, really, really interesting observation. Um, and same... Um, same with Bing compared to previous year, previous years, previous months, it has significantly gone down as well. But here's the part that I know you guys are most interested in, and that is the actual income. So I start with the revenue. There were $2,635.94 in revenue, not profit in revenue. We'll go through that later. Um, so if we look at a Zoic, 
Um, the revenue from days is kind of all over the place. And we're looking at that green line that went way up towards the beginning, then jumped back down and leveled out kind of from mid July. Um, and even though my traffic was so much higher, my revenue was actually down. Um, so this is a really interesting um, comparison. Something was up, you know, the EPMV went down 16%. That's really big. Um, and I don't like this isn't June to July isn't anything that has to do with seasonal. Um, I don't know of anything in particular, but like that important that happened in my niche that could attribute to this. Um, but you know, having such a good month in terms of traffic, at least it seemed, I was so shocked to see that the um, earnings weren't at that same spot. Um, so with the mediation through Zoic, there were $344 from that. Um, Amazon affiliates, there were $416. Um, the conversion was about 13%, which I think is pretty good. I've seen up to 15, but I think in previous months I was seeing as low as 10. So I like to see that number going up and I had 2.8 thousand total clicks. Um, my other affiliate site is not dead. I have $3 and 60 cents coming from it. I don't know. Is it worth it? No, but am I actively doing anything? No. So I'll stick to it. I mean, you know, it's less than a 1% um, um, like purchase rate, you know, from 110 clicks in, in one sale. Not very good. <laughs> Not very good. Um, so if we look at EPMV, just looking at the ads, there are $24.08 of um, earnings per thousand visits. And um, including the uh, Amazon affiliates and the other affiliate, that brings it up to $28.66, which is not bad. So let's look at the expenses. So the expenses this month were $102.92. Um, in past months, I think it's been around like uh, 200. Last month, I think it was up as much as 500. Um, but this month, it was a little bit lower because I was downgraded at one point in my Zoic premium account, so I didn't have to pay as much for it. So that brings the total profit to $2,500.33, or er, $32,533.02. Not a bad month. So thank you guys for watching this. If you haven't seen, you know, the progress throughout since month one, can't believe we're in month 19. I can't believe I had the site for that long. Um, it's pretty awesome, um, you know, to have this on the side and it being at the point where I don't have to put in much effort gives me time to put effort into other areas and other sites. So um, that's something that you'll have to keep an eye out on my channel. But if you haven't seen all the videos, I have a whole playlist um, available in the description to um, follow along on the entire journey because I know these have been pretty boring um, for the last, man, probably since the beginning of the year. It's been pretty boring um, in the income reports. I am just on a flat line with the site, which you know, I'd rather be flat than, you know, be going down. But it's been really fun having this site. And I definitely am thinking about the, the future of this site and what I want to um, I know what I want to do with it. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted when I make any decisions. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Blogsprout. I'm LJ, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>